Hi, this is Rick Levine for Tarot.com here today to talk with you about the new moon in Capricorn on December 28th or the 29th, depending upon where you live. It's at 10.53 p.m. here on the west coast of the United States, which means it's early in the morning on the east coast of the, on the 29th. Regardless of where you are or when this new moon is on your clock, the fact is that this is one heck of a powerful new moon. Capricorn is the sign um, of ambition. It's the sign of hard work. Capricorn is the sign of getting to the top of the mountain. It's the hardworking goat that will not miss a step and will methodically do what it needs to do, calculate each step, each position along the way until it reaches the summit. So the new moon in Capricorn is basically the seed period for us to think about how we're going to get to where we're going in our life. The problem is that this new moon is conjunct retrograde Mercury. When Mercury is retrograde, it's between the Earth and the Sun. And that intensifies Mercury. It makes it louder. It makes it stronger. And because it's louder and stronger, sometimes it's more complicated to deal with because there's more information coming and going and we may not know how to handle it. So this um, new moon with Mercury conjuncting the new moon basically says we need to put extra effort, intention, work into creating structure, systems. Capricorn likes structure and systems. We need to figure out what we need to do so that our information sending and receiving doesn't break down. Because if it breaks down, then we get lost. And in fact, Getting lost here is an interesting concept because this new moon is sextile. That's a cooperative aspect. This new moon, including the sun, the moon, and Mercury, are all sextile to Mars and Neptune. Neptune is the planet of dreams and illusion. Mars is the planet of force, of feistiness, of direction. When Mars is lined up with Neptune, we can take our energy and turn it into magic and shift the energy and do all kinds of incredible things. There's, there's definitely a wizardly or magical component to Mars lining up with, with, with Neptune. And this new moon harmonizes with that energy, which basically says, even though communication is turned inward because Mercury is retrograde, even though we may reach a breaking point of not being able to say um, or to say what we want to say or to hear what we want to hear, the fact of the matter is that we can alchemically transform that energy into something else so that we can work with it in ways that might be perceived as magical but still have the staying power of the new moon in earthbound Capricorn. For Tarot.com, I'm Rick Levine.